So just driving at the boot sale, this is the last one still going in my area and it's not going to be running for much longer. So this could, in theory, be the last one. I don't think it will. I think there'd probably be at least one or two more, but we will have to see. They could at any point just turn around and say that's it for the year. It looks like a smaller one today, but that's fine. Let's go. Let's try and find some stuff to resell for a profit on eBay. I'm hoping to find some Christmassy bits, like ceramics. Some of Lamax houses would be amazing. Some like cookie jars, Christmas cookie jars, that kind of thing would be really good as well. Let's go see what we can find. Oh yeah. It lights up. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. How much you have done that? That's a fiver. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that was missing a load of pieces. Otherwise, I would have had it. Hi. I'll take that for a quid, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? 32. I'll have that as well, please. I always pick up the biggest things first, don't okay. I? Thanks. Thank you very much. How much are the games down here? All this high. Five? Yeah. All oh, right, I see, yeah. Yeah, it says on there. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people buying today. A bit busier than I thought it'd be, though. I'll say that. And I'm already, already bought a couple of things. We've got... VHS tape storage for a pound cannot beat it. 30p Tupperware, why not? Sold one of them recently, similar for about nine quid plus postage, not a lot, but you know, 30p pound. I'm not sure how much these VHS ones go for. It's not very often I see them. It's usually the the other ones that I see. Is that one of those talking ones? Do they still go for money? I don't know what to do. <coughs> You're right there. Is that like a talking one, is it? Does it? Talk, no. Just move a whole mouth. Ah, right, okay. That's it. No worries. It doesn't make like noise when it. Because there's a back, cause there's a battery compartment, no, so. Die, no. I just think that doesn't have anything in it. Right. So he just moves his mouth. Well, we do it for it. Yeah. <laughs> Do three on it, it's all yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm sure that's one of the talking ones. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It looks like there's a battery compartment in here, but I don't know. Three quid. We'll give it a go. These are marked ones. Yeah. So 
this guy sometimes has some really good stuff at a really good price. Fingers crossed. Morning. Morning, Matt. Just those two, 20p, 30p. Okay, that's 50 pence, please. Thank man. you. Thank Cheers. You. See you later. Yeah, see you, later. you too. Hi there, how much your puzzle, please? Uh, the two puzzles, 20 each, or I can do them both for 30. Right. This one on eBay this morning was about 30 odd quid. Okay. Plus from packaging. They are all sealed and never been. Opened. Right, no worries. I dread to think how much these will be. I will ask. <laughs> how much are your pans, please? Five for the set. Okay. Um, you four? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that, please. Thank you. I think that might be it. Mm. That's it. 35. Do they sell? That's the question. Prunes. Oh, somebody got good money for that one. I reckon I could probably do £10 profit, not worth it. See what they want for it. You alright? How much on that? This is. How much is it? I don't know what he did. I don't know what he did. It's like a swan. Glass swan. Oh, it's a, a swan. Yeah. Yeah. Glass swan. Yeah, 150. 50. Yep, I'll do that, thanks. Good try. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> I've, I've not even opened the box. Oh, sorry. How much are they? 50p. 50p. Yeah. Do those two. Yes. Yeah, I just paid 50p for the smallest cuddly toy in the world. She wanted a pound and I was like, nah, you're right. <laughs> I got it for 50p. Look at it. I think it's from Moana, right? One of the little coconut guys. It's from Disneyland Paris. No. Looks to me like it might be part of like a set or something. I just can't imagine them selling something this small at Disneyland. Maybe they did. 
So one final look down here. I'm only going to put the camera on if I actually find anything. So fingers crossed for me. We find a couple more bits. So that is it. One hour later, and there's a few bits. You know, we'll have a look at them in a little bit. See how much we can actually make when it's so quiet. So here we are, this is everything we have purchased today. Today we've spent in total £11.80. So we've not spent a lot, but let's see how much money we can make only spending £11.80. So we'll start with this, this was only a pound. Now the CD ones of these go for pretty, pretty good money. The tape ones, like the audio cassette ones, kind of all right, not as good as the CD ones. These, I never see these around. These are for the VHS tapes. But unfortunately, these ones are not really worth that much. Like, maybe 10 plus postage. There's not that many of them out there, though, so I might aim a bit higher. I think I'll aim for, like, 15 plus postage. And if we can actually get that, then there you go. That, that is actually all the money back. That is all the money back on this, if I can get it. But, you know, we're almost there anyway. Even if 10, like, a lot of people are getting 10 plus postage for them. So if we can get that... And we're almost there, almost breaking even on everything. These here, freezable yogurt squeeze pouches. They're brand new sealed. And I don't really know about these. Seems a little bit a little bit odd how many people are actually freezing their yogurt and using this kind of a thing. I don't know. I've had a quick look on eBay. I found a couple of a couple of them out there, not many, not many sold, not many listed. There were a couple of Marvel ones from like Australia, I think, or somewhere that seemed fairly popular. Couldn't find any that look exactly like this. 50p each is all I paid, so who knows on this? It's really difficult to say. I mean, I would hope at least a fiver plus postage each. I don't know. Might stick them together, ask a tenner, eight quid. I don't know. We'll make a little profit. They're definitely going to be worth more than 50p each. Uh, this here, I, I really like this. This is a crystallite. Bohemia, made in the Czech Republic, little swan glass bowl. And I like this. It's been nice. £1.50 is all I paid. I thought it was quite, quite reasonable. That's what they asked for. That's what I paid. And somebody's got the same one up. Did they have the box? I'm not sure if they had the box or not. Not sure. But they, they had it up for £20 in like similar condition with like the sticker still on it. And... Somebody managed to sell a similar, but not the same one. It did look a bit nicer, I will say that. But without the box, for about £35 out of somewhere in Europe. I want to aim for 20 plus postage. I'm sure we'll get close to that come Christmas. And here's a very standard, kind of very well used spaghetti Tupperware storage container. Needs a bit of a clean, but it'll be okay. I sold one of these quite recently and that wasn't in particularly fantastic condition either. About eight quid, something like that, plus postage I reckon on that one. Here we have a random set of drumsticks. Yes, I don't really know. I don't know why I bought these. 30p, I don't know. I might keep these for the rare occasion when I find like electronic drum kit. Often they don't come with the drumsticks. I do find them now and again, not very often, but occasionally enough to kind of keep these to one side for the next time I find one. This is a set of pans, it's Anthony Worrell Thompson brand. And I've had a quick look and I can't find too many of these out there. I thought they would be a bit more kind of common, but they don't seem to be that common. Somebody sold two pans with just one lid for about 20 plus postage. We got a set of three here, two lids, the small, it's the small one that's missing the lid, but they're in good condition. Yeah, I think we can do like 30 plus postage, at least that's what I'm going to try for. I do accept best offers on everything, so if somebody fires me an offer across at, you know, 25 or something, I'll just accept it. Not too bad. And they're not all that heavy, two to five kilograms with every, is what they will be. And next is this Christopher Robin right here. And he was only 20p. He's from 1999, and I was quite surprised when I looked at the solds on this guy. 
they there's two sold both out of america i think one had gone for about 20 22 ish plus postage and one had gone for about eight plus a load of postage on it um, couldn't see any listed right now but i will have a bit of a closer look i'll you know change up the search terms because a lot of people might not even know this is christopher robin i think i'd literally just put christopher robin and the date in and saw what come up for 20p i think we'll do quite well with that and lastly is this now when i saw this i could have sworn it was one of those ones that was really popular it went kind of viral a few years back didn't it where you know you open your mouth and it it makes like Chewbacca noises. So I was having a look at it and I was thinking, where did the batteries go? And I looked at the back and I was like, it's got to be here, right? It's got to be there. But no, it's actually up here. There's like a little bit that just kind of pops off and that's where the batteries go there. So hopefully this works. Hopefully, I've had a quick look and they go for about up to 20 pounds if it's fully working. I paid three pounds for it so yeah we'll, we'll do okay with that i just thought that was kind of cool never seen one of these out there before if you've still got the box for it if it's like brand new it's worth a bit more but pre-owned like this yeah 20 quid maybe a little bit more coming to christmas you never know maybe the prices are spiked at the moment because it's like around halloween time so hard to say but i'm gonna See if I can get this working, let's see. Yeah, does anybody else out there have like a crazy box of batteries like I do? Check it out, I've got like almost every battery known to man in here, I think. Half of them are probably dead or half dead. Got camera batteries, I've got, I've got the massive ones in the cupboard as well. All sorts. Not sure what this is gonna take, probably double A judging by what it looks like. Let's have a look. I hope this works. I don't know if I got it on camera actually buying this or not. I can't think if I did. I think it was my second time round. And she did say, I said, is it not the one that makes the noise? And she's like, no, no. I was like, you sure? Because it, it looks like it. She's like, no, no, it's never made any noise. So hopefully there's like no batteries in this and she's never actually used it. Or the batteries are corroded and anyway, let's have a look. Yeah, so there's batteries in there. Well, let me just see if I can find an on-off switch because sometimes these have on-off switches that are in a random place, not very clear. I'm not seeing one. So you would think there would be one, wouldn't you? Seeing it. Okay, let's just swap out the batteries then. Some brand new triple A's. What do you reckon? Is it going to work? Doesn't seem to be working, unfortunately. Although, I said you'd think there'd be an on off switch somewhere. So there you go, no, doesn't work. Is the risk that you take not the end of the world? We'll still get a few quid back on it, make a little profit on it, I reckon. Just a shame, but it'll still look pretty good on somebody's shelf, you know, a little shelf sitter or as like a fancy dress costume or something. So yeah, I'll put on the screen now how much money we should be making, all said and done. I think that's not too bad, because you've got to remember, I've paid £11.80. All right, it's not the best haul in the world, right? But we're still making approximately, hopefully, what you can see on the screen. And just a quick look at some of the other things I've picked up recently. I've got these nice, is it Foster's? Yeah, Foster's jars. It's two coffees 
and a tea, no sugar, but they'll still go well, I think, as a set. £3.50 is what I paid for them. Nice. Kind of honeycomb glaze. Like that. Check this out. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is an old Tiger game. WCW Nitro Hollywood Hogan. Little handheld. It's fully working. Got this from a little um, like second hand shop, not a charity shop. It's fully working. As a lot of you will remember, if you played these back in the day, it, <laughs> they're pretty basic, to say the least. I think I paid £4 for it. We're not going to make a huge amount of money on that. Probably maybe a tenner, all said and done. But a couple of pairs of shoes. I can't remember if I featured these in the video or not. Uh, I got them cheap, £3 a pair, but they smelt badly of cigarettes so i've been airing these out for about three months like outside keep kind of like watering them down turn this thing off and now eventually it's gonna have a smell the smell test they now smell okay you can't tell you know you can't smell any kind of cigarettes or anything you can't smell any tobacco so these will do okay carry more uh, smaller sizes, but we'll do it right with them. I got this here from the same shop as I got this. This is a pasta and rice storage jar set, which I've never seen before. It's Rayware brand, and I've picked up this kind of thing many, many times before when it says like cookies and biscuits and tea, coffee, sugar in that, but never this style. Three pounds. It's not perfect. There's a few little kind of chips of paint here and there. There's like one there, one there, but all in all, they're pretty good. I'll be aiming for about 20 to 25 on that. Morris and Gromit clock here. I've had this one a few times before. I don't think I've ever had it in quite as good condition as this. No box, but it's fully working. And it was only three pounds from a charity shop. There's a charity shop recently that had one of these in there in the like special cabinets. I think they were after about 30 or 40 quid for it. It's ridiculous. Not worth anything like that. So this is my kind of goods inwards here in my shed. As you can see, I am doing fine for stock. I really don't need it, but I'm always on the lookout for a few extra bits, you know, top it up for the winter, because obviously, generally speaking, you're not going to find quite as much during the winter months. I've got lots here. All of this, so all of this, and this way, has not been listed yet. And then I've also got like a big box full in the other shed as well. Um, full of stuff that's not been listed so you know i've been picking out like the better things to be honest so not everything here is fantastic but there's some good stuff amongst it and i do also have a few things down here which i have not listed they've got a load of skylanders i've still got to get listed over there some comic books some random toys some things here that need like testing and stuff and same with the stuff underneath and a load of Wii stuff, which I need to get on. I've got two boxed Wii bundles. I've got a load of games. I've got a load of accessories, including like a Wii Motion Plus controller in its box. I've got this complete Mario Kart box with game. I've got like accessories, all sorts. I needed to get on with all this video game stuff, try and get it on before Christmas. All these are listed now, all these CD storage things. A couple of them have already sold, another one just sold yesterday, I think it's that one, so that's going to be going out. Still got this Duplo set here to list, need to get this on soon. My partner went through and kind of like divided up all the bits into relevant kind of sets, so we just need to kind of literally take the photographs and move on. And of course the good old mountain of board games some of these are pretty good i really need to sort it out i've i've listed a few picked out a few of the better ones already they're listed uh, but i've got a few others here that are pretty good i've also got a bit of a build-up of things that need like repairing or attempted repair uh, this i bought this knowing that it didn't work but she only wanted like a pound or pound 50 or something on it but just as the accessories for this can go for decent money so I figured if all else fails, that's what I would do. I'd just sell the accessories off. It'd probably be the easiest, easiest thing to do on that, to be honest. 
and this is supposed to like move or something or sing or talk i don't know but it, it's not working so i need to sort that out as well it could just be i can't remember i think i did have a look into it maybe was it the batteries were corroded in it or something i mean it couldn't have been that bad otherwise i would have just thrown it away probably but um yeah hopefully repairable on that i think that's worth a few pounds it's got a bit of age to it that one so that's where i'm at right now i've taken it easy on the charity shops recently i've not been going to quite as many as i usually do but i'm going to step that up again on the way up to christmas and be a bit more selective though i think over what i buy but i find some really good stuff sometimes especially on the way up to run up to christmas there's a few certain brands that i look out for one if you don't know is called vilroy and bock and it is it's pretty good the, the christmas stuff some of the christmas stuff that they do is good it's like a high-end brand recently found a couple of egg cups in that brand uh, randomly i didn't didn't know they did egg cups but there you go i'll put them on the screen now because i'm pretty sure i've listed them already in fact i have listed them already um there they are 35 quid or something i think i had them up at and i only paid i think two or three pounds from a charity shop for them so it's one to look out for out there but look out for like the christmas houses they do like candle uh, tea light tea light holder houses um just ornaments i think they do like christmas ornaments either like christmas tree ornaments and like little kind of just little display christmas houses and stuff so hopefully i'll have another one or two boot sale videos before the end of the season but we will have to see i was on about maybe going a bit further afield to a couple i might still do that i might not i don't really know I might call it quits to be honest because i've got as i say i've got enough stuff if i was struggling i would definitely be going a bit further afield looking elsewhere looking what else i can do to you know ramp it up a bit but right now i'm doing okay obviously if i work through this stuff really quickly getting it up get it on and everything starts selling quite quickly i probably will start thinking about other ways to get stock but right now i'm fairly happy with where i am i'm going to stick to the local boot sale that's still on and i might go a bit further afield we will see we'll see what happens but for now that is it thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you in the next one subscribe